Hello, everybody. Welcome. We are here at the Grand Canyon. I mean, I don't even know if we need to say it. It's right behind us, and it is awesome. Wow, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, so we have planned the trip to the Grand Canyon. We're going to do the Skywalk. We're going to do a bunch of different things that are here to do. Um, so come along with us. It's going to be an absolutely beautiful ride. Um, I'm pumped. Are you pumped? Yes. I love doing things I've never done. Let's check this out. All right, so as you can see behind me, the Grand Canyon, we'll get some more views of it. Um, but I did want to talk a little bit about our experience here so far. We're at the Grand Canyon West Rim, um, not the south or the north. The south and the north uh, rims of the Grand Canyon are about five, four to five hours away from Las Vegas, which is where we were. So if you're planning on visiting Las Vegas and you want to do the Grand Canyon, you're going, to go to, you're going to want to go to the West Rim because it's only about two hours away from Vegas. Um, there's less here at the West Rim than the South and North. Those have been there a lot longer and built up. That's where the National Park is. Um, but if you don't want to burn an entire five hour drive there and a five hour drive back from Vegas, West Rim is definitely going to be the best option. Well, we got on the shuttle and thankfully it's warm here. I have two hoodies. I might just stay on the shuttle the whole time we're here. You think we can see the Grand Canyon from the shuttle? I'm down. I have shorts on. Yeah. It's rough. And the very first thing that uh, I saw when we got here was you can't just go up to the Grand Canyon, apparently. I believe this entire area is actually uh, run and monitored by the uh, native people that live here. Uh, and when you get up here, there's an entire um, sort of like a checkpoint and an area where you can actually buy your tickets. So in order to actually get up to the Grand Canyon, you have to pay an admission fee and they, ta they, they take you on a shuttle over uh, from that sort of like uh, staging area. Now there's a gift shop there. It's actually a really cute little gift shop. We ended up buying some clothes. I bought a sweatshirt. You got a hat and gloves because it's 40 degrees here. Now there is a cost um, in order to go to the Grand Canyon. You can't just walk up to it, like I said. Um, so they have different packages, different pricing for those. Um, so they have general admission. Just to get over to here to see the Grand Canyon, it's gonna cost you $57 per person. And you'll take the shuttle over to get here. 57 bucks just to see the Grand Canyon over here. And then they have a bunch of add-ons. So they have this brand new Skywalk, which is a 10 foot all glass bridge that goes out over the Grand Canyon. So you can kind of see like straight down, you can see out further, you can get a better view of the actual canyon. Um, and that's gonna run you $28 just for the Skywalk in addition. You can also add a meal onto that. They have a restaurant and cafe here. It's 28 bucks uh, or it's 25 bucks for the extra meal if you want it. Or you can just, I think you can just pay for stuff when you get here. There's a zip line you can do, which, which is actually another bus that takes you to another location. And that's $45 for that zip line. We thought about doing the zip line, but I saw a sign that said it could take up to an hour to get to the zip line. And I really didn't feel like doing that. Then they have a helicopter package that takes you out there. That's $289 per person. Now I will say there were people asking about the helicopters when we got here. We got here at 9 a.m. and they said the earliest slot they had already was like 145. So if you plan on just showing up here and getting a helicopter, you're gonna be waiting a while probably. But they also have packages available which is gonna save you a little bit of money to do the package. So we did the grand package, uh, which is actually the general admission plus the skywalk which is $73. That saved us a bunch of money rather than buying the two things separately. Uh, they have a grander package, which includes the general admission Skywalk and a meal. So if you want to get a meal and all that together, you can do that, and that's $98. And then they have the grandest package, which is basically everything, including the uh, helicopter, and that's $362, but I don't think that one includes the meal. So for us, we did the $73 package uh, to do the Skywalk. I w we weren't really going to do the Skywalk, but um, I was like, you know what? We're going over there. We're already yeah. paying money to get there. We'll um, see if it's worth it. It was only like an extra, like, I think, I don't know my math, somewhere around like, no, but it was only like 15, I think, extra because we did the package. Oh. So I, something like that. I didn't do the math. Um, but I think that's a, I was like 15 bucks. We'll just, yeah, throw that on there. Um, but you'll notice that we're in hats. I have two hoodies on, gloves, socks. she bought socks. <laughs> we spent $161 at the store for clothing because it was so cold here. 
It's like 60 degrees in Vegas or something. It's 39 degrees here. 39. And I can't, as we were driving here, I was like, oh, it'll get warmer, right? Because we started, we left at like 7 a.m. I was like, oh, it says it's like, you know, it's going to be cold. But it'll get warmer as we get closer to the Grand Canyon. Um, the sun is going to come out, everything. Nope. It kept getting colder the whole way here. I was like, oh, my gosh. It's down to 39 degrees. And it's funny because <laughs> we ran into um, a couple. They're a cool couple from Tampa. And they were also in the same boat as us. <laughs> they were like, I think they, they had cameras too. So they might have been vloggers as well. Um, but they, uh, he's like, I didn't, look, just so you see, look what I'm wearing. Look, look at that. I have shorts on. So just so you know, it was freezing up here. Um, so <laughs> if it's a little bit cold before you get here, you're going to want to pack accordingly. <laughs> um, but we're surviving. We're surviving. It's actually, I feel like it's a little bit warmer up here than it was it's down. a lot warmer up here. Yeah, in the staging area. So mm -hmm. um, anyhow, let's go get to it. I want to check out the Grand Canyon. Let's see what it's all about. Well, we just arrived. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. Like, I am just in complete awe of how awesome this is. Wow. I mean, just, I can't even, like, what? I need, now I need to, like, look into the history and see, like, what made this? Like, how did this, how did this get created? This is just awesome. This place is amazing. I'm also, as I'm standing up here, wondering um, what animals they, uh, I haven't seen any animals. On the drive here, we saw cows, um, but that's it. And it kept saying cow crossing, but I haven't seen anything else and just some birds. I might ask somebody in the little uh, building over there what animals live out here because it doesn't look like any. I just know scorpions probably live out here. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely beautiful and kind of surreal. When I look out over the Grand Canyon, I wonder like what created this? And I tried to look into it. I was trying to figure out like what, how did the Grand Canyon get created? And it says that they believe it was created by tectonic uplifts, which I don't know what that is. I'm guessing that's some sort of like, I don't know, earthquakey type stuff. Um, but also the Colorado River cutting through and weathering it over, I guess, bazillions of years. Not really sure. Um, that's the theory. I don't see the Colorado River in there very, I mean, it's, I think it's tiny and it's down at the bottom. So apparently it must have been big and much different a long time ago. I don't know, what's this up here? I don't know what this is. Some sort of like teepee, I guess. It's kind of cool. I don't know if this is like showing like how they make teepees. I don't know, but I want to go inside. Is it warmer in here? Actually, it is. It's a lot warmer in here. Huh. It's like a primitive teepee, I guess. It's cute in here. It's actually a lot warmer. It's warmer in there, I'm not going to lie. Um, wait, is that a tumbleweed? No, it's just a bush. It's just a bush. Oh, there's more teepees over here. This is a this, this one looks like a different one over here. This looks like like a similar teepee, but with just maybe without all the without all the brush attached to it. It's like more wood and brush. This is cool. It is warm. Oh, look, people people are writing their names on in here. You can kind of like carve or write your name in here. I wonder how often they replace these things. Probably pretty often. Okay, so I looked it up. Um, it says the Grand Canyon West Rim is a tribal enterprise of the sovereign Indian nation of the, I'm gonna butcher it, Hula Pai tribe. Oh, we saw signs with that on there. Um, so yeah, it says you can experience the heritage and rich traditions of the people of the Tall Pines. I thought it was uh, owned or something or created by the, a tribal nation like that. Um, I just didn't know which one, and I didn't know if I was correct, but apparently I am. One of the re another reason I'm glad we kind of came up here is because we're getting to kind of actually like see some of the, like desert stuff. Like we've been in Vegas the whole time. I feel like we haven't actually got to experience like just walking around in like the dirt in the desert where there's just like rocks and like bushes. I just don't want to see a tumbleweed. Oh, this looks like some sort of like primitive. Um, I don't know if I should say primitive. Is that the right word? I don't know. Tr tribal? I have no idea. Some sort of like stove or fireplace or something? Cooking? Oh, or maybe it's maybe it's actually like a... Do you think it's like a house? 
Is it like a, like a, like a stone or mud version of a teepee? Might be. Kind of like an igloo. I can't tell. Maybe, maybe, it's, a, maybe it's a fire pit. Yeah, I don't, we, we don't know what it is. She got in the fireplace, she said. <laughs> she, I just got in the fireplace. Yeah, that's cool. I like, I'm, I'm actually getting to experience. I want to see a cactus. Let me know if you see a cactus. The whole time we were driving, we were looking for cactus. I wanted to see a real one. She, saw, she, she said she saw one on the way, and I didn't get to see it. She said she saw like a real live cactus. I've never seen like, I mean, I've seen them in little potted plants, but not like in the wild, in like a big one. Are these cactus? These little like spiky things? Does that qualify? I don't know what that is. So on our way up here, we saw tons of these little gnarled trees. And uh, then we, we eventually saw a sign that said Joshua Tree Forest. And we actually came up to an actual like whole forest of these trees. I was like, oh, those are Joshua trees. I was like, that, I've heard of those. And um, there were just tons of them. And there's some actually here too. And so I looked it up. I was like, why do I know the name Joshua Tree? Like, what is that? And so it says Joshua Trees are typically are a type of yucca. Isn't that like those like french fry things that we get at like Jamaican places? Um, it says it was named by the Mormons in the 1850s who saw the gnarled branches in the arms of Joshua pointing to the promised land. So I guess that's where they got, how they got named. Um, so that's kind of neat, but there's tons of these little like gnarled trees um, and they're kind of cool looking. But um, I was like, okay, what is that? Joshua tree. It says Native America performances daily. What is this? Is there someone in here? Oh, wow. There is. This right here is, this story was created by a family um, of storytellers that actually knew that they did that history. So when they all came together, they wrote that history down in a the creation story just like this and there's two locations one location is for here at uh, the Grand Canyon West and the original one is at Peach Springs in the, in the, at the original uh, home site in the, okay. in the clinic and it's above the ceiling right, right there so when the sun shines on it you're in the story just like oh, this oh how neat just like this okay just like this so yeah when we're singing we're uh, dancing for you guys uh, Entertainment, you know, just to okay. show you that much more history and culture as we go on and on throughout the day. I just found this uh, little plaque here that talks about what we're about to walk through. It says Native American tribal structures. Um, so we're going to take this loop starting here at the bottom. You are here. It says there's a Hopi house and oven. Then there's the Plains Tipis Havasupai Sweat Lodge. Navajo Hogan and Sweat Lodge, and then the Hulapai Wikiup. It's kind of the order of the things we're going to see here. Um, it says, discover the diversity of traditional shelters and ceremonial structures built by a number of different Native American tribes. Okay, so we are walking down here. I saw this little house over here um, that looks really cute, so I'm going to go over there. I feel like this is like a little seating area. See how there's like rocks? surrounding I keep seeing like rocks like surrounding like a big rock or something I feel like maybe somebody stands there and then people sit around I could be wrong but that's what I think because I keep seeing like stuff like that I low-key want to see a snake so I am looking because um, I'm weird I like creatures I'm in Florida I'm always looking for alligators so let me know if you see a snake um, and yeah, I don't a see it back there that said, beware of snakes yeah so beware of snakes there's something over there on the ground what is that Ooh, where Oh, I think it's just grass, man. I, I don't have my glasses on, so. Don't go over there. Steve said, don't go over there. I would totally go over there if there was a snake. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful here. And I've never seen anywhere like this before in my whole entire life, so it's pretty awesome. There's a little fireplace like I got in earlier. That was definitely a fireplace. It was a fireplace. I don't know why I got in it. Hoppy? The house, up uh, Hopi or Hoppy? The houses of the Hopi are used for shelter, work, storage, and ceremonial practices. Oh, and look at the little, I don't know what you call those, just symbols, Yeah. drawings. I feel like it's not much smaller than our first house, just kidding, ours is bigger than this. 
How much? It's looking through the window. Is anybody home? Are there any snakes home? Look. They probably blocked it off because I see somebody wrote over there on the wall. Like, why would you do that? Also looking for scorpions. Look how cute is it, it is in here. Why is there a hole? I wonder if that's the bathroom and that's where you throw out your bathroom. I doubt it. Maybe that's where the fireplace is. <laughs> I just saw some little kid walk up and touch this. And he was like, ooh, ooh, ow. So I don't think I'm going to do that. But I think this is a cactus. Of some kind. It's like a spindly one. <laughs> It was funny, he touched it. <laughs> Navajo. It's the Navajo Hogan. The Hogan is built using no modern tools and is traditionally composed of wood and mud. It says the entrance is um, faces the east because everything that is good and prosperous comes with the dawn of a new day. It's really cute. I like this one. I want to move in. Not really. Well, we made the loop. It looks like we're coming up on the Skywalk, uh, the gift shop, restrooms, Skywalk entrance. It's starting to get a little bit cold back there because of the uh, the wind. But now that we're kind of away from the wind, it's feeling pretty warm again. The sun feel, I mean, the sun feels good when you're in it. Um, we get, we have a. I think we get to do a whole other stop after this too, where there's some sort of like mining thing. I hope we do. I guess we'll find out. It looks like there's some cafe up here. We're gonna run up and check this out real quick before we do the skywalk. I don't know. I think it's a cafe. That says employees only. Maybe you can. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's the other side. Oh, okay, here we found the cafe. Skywalk Cafe. So they have food and stuff. Chicken and fries, 20 bucks. Chili dog, 12 bucks. Chili nachos, 10. Chili fries, hot dog, 10. Fries, 8. So this is the skywalk we're going to walk out on. Um, you can see it goes out over the canyon. Yeah. We're going to do that now. Now, I do know, unfortunately, you are not allowed to video record out on the skywalk. Um, they don't allow any items at all on the Skywalk. Um, no phones, no keys, nothing. And they actually give you a free locker if you've purchased it. Well, free. comes basically included. Um, you have to put all your stuff in the locker. And you also have to wear little booties on your shoes um, to keep the like surface. Actually, yeah, you're right. I also don't see anybody wearing booties. So they must have got rid of that because I, I read that you had to wear little booties on your shoes keep from scratching the ground but apparently they they removed that restriction so but anyway we're not gonna be able to film out on the skywalk but um i'll tell you what we thought when we got off if it's worth the money or not let's head up to the gift shop and the skywalk skywalk over to the left maybe this is called eagle point apparently is what this place is named um so gift shop and restrooms hopefully it's warm in here it's warmish. Oh, look. That's cute. Yeah, it's pretty warm. Feels good in here. This gift shop is, I feel like, nicer than the one we were at earlier. Yeah, the one we were at earlier was a tent. This is actually like a gift shop. You can tell they built this place, this whole entire building. They built brand new, of course. And it's really pretty. Oh, well, they have a hula pai, hula, hula pai culture. In community, some like traditional garb and stuff in here. Almost like it's almost like a little museum. This is the uh, Trail of Tears run that they have, I guess. And they have more merchandise over here. I'm curious if they have any different merchandise. I'm seeing a lot of the same stuff that I saw at the other gift shop. So that's good in that I'd have been sad if I bought some stuff over there and then they came over here and they had better stuff. But from a merch perspective, I'm seeing mostly the same stuff, although I feel like I'm seeing a little bit different trinkets and maybe some food items. And the, but the actual like apparel over here looks about the same. Looks like they have like a little uh, shop in here too where they have drinks and snacks and food. 
watermelon, calzones, tamales, pretzels, popcorn. And of course they have like lots of different snacks. They got some drinks here, which I think Candy just got some drink, uh, got a drink. Oh, it looks like this is where you can get your pictures of um, your experience. Oh, and there's a restaurant here. So this is a Skywalk entrance right here, which we're going to be waiting in line at. And it looks like upstairs there's an actual restaurant that you can eat at. So, see, yeah. And I'm guessing this is for the, uh, actually I don't know if this is for the meal or not. Hello. This is about the only animal I've seen since we left Vegas, I'm not even going to lie. I saw two cows the entire time. No, no coyotes, no snakes, uh, nothing. Just that. Yeah, here we go. Skywalk entrance. See, no personal belongings at all. Uh, but the uh, lockers are included in your price. So we'll just put our stuff in a locker. Yeah, the line's looking a little longer. A little long. I guess we just hang out right here. What do you uh, think of the little gift shop area in this, this part? It's good because they like have cold Diet Coke. Museum. It's cute. Um, I don't know, it's nice, I think. I do too. I had a lot of the same merchandise as um, the one that's not as nice and was absolutely freezing. Skip that one and come up here and buy your stuff. Oh, no, no, legit, just <laughs> skip that one. Yeah, skip that one. I did see also, you can buy the tickets for stuff over here. Um, I think you have to buy the admission ticket over there, but like if you later change your mind and you want to do the Skywalk, you can buy the Skywalk over here. You don't have to buy it over there. I have a feeling you don't get the discount of the package though if you buy it over here last minute. But I am seeing people right here buying tickets for the Skywalk. So get this. I would get the package before you leave at the tent area versus doing it over here but just in case you get over here and you're like ooh that looks really cool and I want to do the skywalk and you change your mind you can do it okay so we're standing here in line waiting for the skywalk and um, we're going through the videos so Candy was taking some videos on her phone and she texted one of these videos to the kids our group chat because we're like she's sharing some of the videos that we did here and one of the kids noticed that she got me tripping I didn't know. By the edge of the Grand Canyon earlier, because I did, I tripped. I literally tripped and almost rolled off the edge. So I'm throwing it in right now so you can all see my glorious trip uh, right on the little corner there. You can see the side. I literally almost tripped and rolled into the Grand Canyon and died. And she got it on it film. Okay, maybe it wasn't that dramatic, but it felt scary. When you're that close to the edge, it felt scary. It felt scary. Rolled off the edge to my doom. It says, we were here just now on the skywalk over the Grand Canyon. This is like the Grand Canyon. You can see the shelves and stuff. Look at that. We we're right there overlooking that whole Grand Canyon. It's pretty cool. All right, so we just finished the skywalk. What did you think? What did you think? Um, I wouldn't do it if I were you. You wouldn't? No. We had to wait. How long did you wait? Over an hour. We wait, yeah, we waited probably about an hour in that yeah, line. Yeah, inside of a, a, a room when you could have been just out here looking at the Grand Canyon yeah. and then moving on to the next point. Um, because really, I, I mean, I just didn't think it was worth it's just not worth your time. It's not that much more money. It was like 16 more dollars for the package. But as far as like what you get, that, having to wait that long, no, and you're you're not even allowed to take pictures or anything, so. Yeah, there was um, the lack of being able to take pictures for me was the big downside. Yeah. Um, there were some people I saw smuggling their phones in and smuggling GoPros in. They do have a metal detector, and by the way, the metal detector went off on every single person that went through. Yeah. Except for me, I think her earrings got it, but I didn't have any. And then we realized why. And they had a wand where they were like wanding everybody to make sure. Um, and yet, we did have to put the booties on, though. Yeah. We saw people walking earlier with no booties. We did. I don't know why we had to put them on all of a sudden. But um, I will say there were people smuggling in cameras, and I didn't like that. I didn't think that that was, you shouldn't do that. Yeah. Um, so for me, like, either don't do the experience or do the experience, but no, you're not doing any video or pictures. But they do offer pictures. Like, they have professional photographers out there doing, like, pictures. 
they were really expensive. It was like $25 for one photo and like 60 bucks or 50 or something for six photos. And I, we walked by and we saw where the pictures were. I didn't even think the pictures were any better than what we no. were getting out here. Because <laughs> they weren't not. even doing really any pictures where they were like looking down. It was more just like pictures over the rail, like with the railing in the background. And I'm like, well, that's the same pictures that we got out here. Yeah. So for me, um, no way on the pictures for sure um and but i thought it was for only 16 bucks i thought it was i thought it was worth doing i just i don't um, think it was worth my time of waiting in there the time was the was the worst part because unfortunately we kept trying to figure out why is this taking so long and then we realized it's because once you got out there there was a line um we have to do the locker and then they only let certain amount of people through and then once they're through there's this line and then the photographer basically follows if you follows you through the whole loop which and takes short. pictures which it's is short small. but like it was taken forever because they only had a couple of photographers forever. so we, we had to wait in that whole entire giant I mean we had to wait in the big line anyway but then even once we got out there um, we had to wait again for the photo for the photography and I just could have went so much faster um, but I understand well. something in my eye all of a sudden <laughs> I mean, I totally understand why they try to get people to do the pictures because that's they're making money off that. Yeah. And they need to make money, and I'm all about supporting them. Uh, but for me, I thought it was worth doing. I actually thought it was really cool being able to walk and look straight down. And I, I was worried that you were just going to walk out there and be like a shelf, but it actually does let you see all the way to the bottom of the whole canyon floor. Um, so I actually like to be able to look straight down. I could look, you could also look over the glass and look straight down, or you could look straight through the glass on the ground. It was cool because when I was looking at the, the, the glass straight down, I was getting a little bit of like cool feeling vertigo for me. <laughs> I actually liked the cool feeling of like the vertigo, um, looking straight down. Um, but there were some people that were going out there and like, as soon as they got out there, they were like reaching for the, like running for the railing. Grown people. And Grown. then, and then they were, um... Like one guy was like, he was okay, as soon as he stepped fo foot on, he was like, I'm done, and then like was off. So know. I'm like, if you're afraid of heights, no, yeah, not for it. you. For me though, I was just like, yeah. I wish it was more kidney scary. candy shop. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was cool. So um, I feel like it was worth it. She doesn't really feel like it's worth it, but for 16 Definitely bucks, not. I didn't think it was bad. If I paid 28 bucks for that, I'd have been down bad for sure. So I don't know. Leave it up to your own discretion. Here's where we just were, the skywalk, and while I was up there, I saw that we had this section over here. We can actually see a little bit better than where we were standing over there earlier. But actually, if you look straight down in there, you can actually see the Colorado River. Um, that's the river. And I will tell you, when we were out there on the Sky Bridge, it does it like that. None of that looks that far away. But I literally saw a helicopter fly by one of the helicopter tours over there. And it looked like a speck. Like, I mean, it was the smallest little speck. They went flying through that canyon and it gave me this like instant sense uh, of like an uh, instant perception of how big and how far away that actually is you just can't capture it unless you have that perspective um i wish another one would fly by so i could like get it on camera to kind of show you um but man it's just crazy how far away that is but yeah there's the river you can see it all the way down in there. Man, this just looks awesome. This place is unreal. All right, we just arrived at Guano Point. Um, wait, so the second stop on the package that we selected is called Guano Point. Um, I have a question. Isn't guano, doesn't that mean bat poop or bat droppings? I think so. Maybe that's or is that in like Swahili? I don't, I don't know. All I know is Ace Ventura, Pet Detective 2, told me that guano means bat droppings. Mmm. <laughs> my, my, my. This fruit paste is delicious. And the pottery is lovely. It's made from guano. Guano! That sounds so familiar. Bat droppings. Guano is the chief resource of the Bachari. They use it to make many things in the village. Yummy! 
Uh, I'm assuming it means something different in whatever language is native to that, to this. But until then, I'm calling it Bat Poop Point. But I'm going to be honest, Bat Poop Point so far since we got here looks freaking awesome. <laughs> looks, it looks better than where we just were. Take a look at this. Uh, wow. Oh my goodness. Um, there's no railings here at all. Oh my gosh, what's that person doing? What? What? No, you're not. No, we're not. Uh-uh. Nope, not doing that. You can literally walk up to this edge. Uh, yeah, no, I I'm cool. I'm not afraid of heights, but I, I that's, no, mm -mm, I'm good. But just take a look at how cool this is. Yeah, this is way better than the first stop. Where that sky bridge was, skip the sky bridge. Yeah, now that I'm seeing this, sky bridge is pointless. Don't do it. It's a waste. This is awesome. I mean, this to me is just way better than the first location. This is, there's no railings here. And you can, you can get it right up on the edge if you want to die. But um, you can. But there's also this, like, stuff up here. So I want to go up there and check that out. This is pretty neat up here. Let's see. I see people taking pictures all over the place here because it's just, I mean, it's so much better than the last place. I mean, what do you, do you, what do you think about this one compared to the first place we were at? It's way better. I mean, it's not even a compare. I, I honestly, I wish we would just skip the whole first one. Same. The whole first one. Like yeah. the gift shop, the sky bridge. All that. Everything. The best part about that was my Diet Coke. The Diet Coke. Get the Diet, well, I think there's a drink thing here too, oh, which we haven't got Also, I got M&M's and trail mix. So if they have M&M's and trail mix and <laughs> Diet Coke here, like just skip it. Like get off the bus and get right back on the bus that takes you here. Literally, don't stop there. To don't bat waste dropping your money point. On, don't waste your money on the sky bridge. Because this is we, way better. We haven't even gone. I mean, let's let's keep going because this is this is awesome. This is awesome. It's a little sketchy. A little sketchy when you get close to the edge. I'm not um, scared. But um, it's still. <laughs> The views from this are amazing. Well, yeah, I, honestly, I probably shouldn't he was film. Nervous about me, it's him. I honestly probably sh twice. I probably should not film and walk in uh, in this area at the same time, or I'm going to go right off the edge. I mean, just look at the ground. I mean, this is what I'm walking on. So. You know, it's uh, it's not exactly easy, easy ground, easy terrain. Now I do see right here they actually have boulders. They didn't have any up there, but they do have boulders here, and it says "Do not cross." So they are specifically telling you not to get closer to the edge in these particular areas. I don't know why I'm guessing it has something to do with maybe the shelf being unstable right there. I mean, you can kind of tell the shelf is unstable. So maybe even if it looks like it is, if you put a bunch of weight there, maybe the whole shelf will come off and you'll be in the drink. Look at this trail. Look how far it goes. Like, we're going to have to pick it up. Yeah, so if you go yeah. around the corner, down there on the bottom, yeah. uh, where that metal structure is, uh -huh. look down, there's another metal structure. Oh, okay. Um, and then if you look across the river, that's where the back cave is. Oh. It does, what's, does it, does this um, circle around or will we come back up this trail? Uh, you'll come back up this oh, trail okay. if you go up the ramp. Okay. It'll circle around this hill here. Oh, okay. And you go to the top and then you just come back this way to exit. So is that why it's called Guano Point because of the back? Yes. Droppings or whatever, back cave? That's oh, the okay. Place. So I was right. Yes. So one of the guides on the trail here just told me, you probably heard him because I filmed it. I was right. He said there's a bat cave down here we get to look at, and that's what this place is named after, Guano. Ace Ventura got it right. Wiggle Ace Ventura on. always gets it right. <laughs> you found the one rock that you could wiggle on, and you, and you decided to wiggle on it. <laughs> so there's a mining operation up here, he said. So that's what this giant, these giant structures are. And then there's a bat cave across that you can see and he said that's where um they were that's where they mined and that's what this place is named after so you can see we're back to the shelf here where you can go all the way up to the shelf if you want to like i said if you want to if you want to die 
but uh, but I'm good. But I'm good. I'm, I'm comfortable. You're the ones falling. Ooh, there's some co look at this. Co there's cones down there. Those must have fell down there. See them? Maybe they blew down there. Yeah, I bet they blew down there somewhere. Oh wow, this is another good spot right here. And it says do not cross. There's a little sign right here that says do not cross. This guy's leaning on. But it's a good view of the river and everything. Look how awesome it is behind me. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, I just realized you can see the river. I didn't yeah. see that before. It's kind of camouflage. Um, it's very far down there. I'm not scared at all. I would even get closer and Steve's like, no. So I'm not going to scare Steve. He was holding on to the back of my hood. <laughs> like that was going to do anything. I think that would have just pulled him over with me. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I love it. And there's lots of great photo op spots here. Um, definitely skip the first stop and come here. First stop's a waste of time. Extreme caution. Watch for falling rocks. And there's a bunch of big rocks here, so we got to be careful. It's a very narrow path right here. All right, we made it to Guano Point, the official Guano Point. A little bit of a backstory. This is, I guess, some of the like old mining equipment. I'm guessing this was a uh, like a conveyor belt that went across to another one of these on the other side, and they would like haul the I don't know what they were hauling, but they would haul it up here maybe from the mine. And supposedly, if we look over here down here, we can see the the other side and we can see the back cave. So, gonna have to approach this very carefully, though. Okay, well, there's, that's right, there's another trail down there, so this one isn't as worrisome. I think we have to go down there to see the bat cave, he said. Wow. It just looks really awesome, though. So there's the mining stuff. And then I look down here, and you can see another one of those like little conveyor things. And then I guess straight ahead, he said the back cave was over here somewhere, but I'm not seeing it. Do you? Is it this right here? Or is it this over here? I don't know. I don't see it. But I do see the Colorado River down there. Man, this is just awesome. Wow. Look, there's a helicopter. And that one was actually way closer than the one we saw earlier. If that gives you any, like, scale. This place is huge. So you can crawl up these rocks, apparently. I keep seeing people climbing on all these rocks. Um, it does say you're allowed. I thought maybe there was just going to be, like, a trail that led up there, but I think you literally just have to climb up all those rocks like those people are doing right now. They're coming down. We're climbing up these rocks to get to this like, I don't know. What, a lizard? Oh, it is different. It's green, it's like cool green color. Huh. That's kind of neat. But we we're uh, climbing up these rocks to get to the uh, cafe up here. Just kind of want to see what it was like up here. Okay, welcome to Guano Point Cafe. No food sold here, but you can get drinks. So the uh, cafe there is super cute, but all it is is just a little drink shop. But it says no food, but I beg to differ. They had Doritos. That's food to me. So we got a bag of Doritos, a couple drinks. This is a little entryway. So I think we're going to head back on the bus. Take off here, back to the original spot. Look, they have little like handcrafted, I guess authentic little like uh, trinkets and bracelets and stuff, and necklaces. A little shop here. All right, well, I think that's about it for us. Uh, we, I, I, what'd you think of the Grand Canyon overall? I loved it. Um, do I need to come back? No. I would, if my kids were with me, I would come back so, so yeah. to experience it with them. But I would say I got my fill. I got, my, I got the experience. I think we, yeah. saw, we actually saw it on the flight um, over here um, from the air. So I'll, I'll clip some in right here so you can kind of see what we saw, which was actually really cool. Um, the helicopter thing would have been cool, though. Or like a raft. Or the rafting. Yeah. 
If we came back, I would do the rafting for sure, or the helicopter. It's just very expensive. And rafting right now in the cold, not going to happen. They do horseback riding too, which would have been cool. But um, I was disappointed they didn't have any ATV tours and stuff here. They, I think they only have those at the North and South Rim. And I could do ATV tours other places. I'm, it's not worth a six, five, five hour drive to get there. So overall, I thought it was a blast. Skip the Sky Bridge. Skip the whole first stop. Although, stop at the gift shop on the first shop or stop at this gift shop where we're at right now, which is the starting area. Get some snacks and then go to Guano Point. That's the, really what you should do. Um, do not get the meal package. No. The line for the meal package, the, the restaurant, that that was a that was a three hour adventure. I am not kidding you. You were probably in line for an hour or two trying to get to the meal, then eating your meal. That that's that ain't worth it. Don't do it. No. If you're if you end up wanting food, just do that little like quickie um, food shop that we showed you, the cafe. Just grab it there and go. Don't don't do the meal experience. It's not worth it. Um, the big the big dinner. Um, so overall, it was great. It was awesome. I loved it. It was great. Um, so let us know what you think. This is our first time in the Grand Canyon. Might be our last time, honestly. Yeah. We'll um, but has it was worth the drive. I'm glad we came up from Vegas. Two hours is definitely the way to go. I'm happy. I thought it was awesome. I'm glad we got to see it. It's off the bucket list. So. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Let us know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe, share. Till we see you next time, the noble way is the easy way. Bye bye, everybody.